Good morning, family. It's Tasha Mom Red Prep, and you already know what time it is, baby. Get to drink, pull up. Let's talk about it. So, state of affairs. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world today. And the thing that I want to talk about is a topic that I talk about often, um, and that's viruses, that's disease, that's things that are going around in the world, and what we can do to prepare our, ourselves, our families, our homes for that. You know, this kicked off a lot of folks have started preparing ever since COVID kicked off, right? Once I kicked off, that's the first time that people really dealt with any kind of strife, dealt with couldn't find product, couldn't find things, you know, the whole toilet paper thing, the whole bleach cloth things, the whole Lysol, all these products, right, that people couldn't find, people panicking to try to find hand sanitizer, just freaking out as people were finding out holistic options and different things that they could do to make themselves healthier and be able to fight off stuff that stuff started becoming hard to find and so it's it's no different than any other crisis once it happens everybody loses their minds and then panics and goes out and gets the things and what we want to do is try to prepare so that we have the things already. We are not the ones out on the streets trying to find stuff, trying to find product when stuff gets crazy. I want to already have those things in my home so that when things hit, I can concentrate my energy on, okay, the wellness of my family and making sure that we get better and or keeping us and giving us the best chance possible to not have to encounter said sickness, virus, whatever, okay? So lots well, lots happening. So you still have COVID, rampant. That's like the new flu. That's not going away. Did you guys see that movie, a song, what was it, Songbird? I think it was Songbird. Really crappy movie, okay? So don't watch it in the sense of like, you know, some great action-packed movie, okay? It was a horrible movie in regards to acting and stuff like that however it's super creepy because it talks it's basically about COVID and how long how it lasts forever and they're basically talking about like COVID 23 in the movie or some crap like that it's it's wild um but it's true that it's not going away okay and so if you're not up on game with that I mean I don't know where you've been the last few years but you should already have your preps already know the things you need um but we're going to talk about it today I'm going to give you eight things or eight ways that you can prepare right now your family for these viruses monkeypox going on you know um I've been holding my tongue when it comes to monkeypox in regards to other channels and other advisement that's being told out there. You can get monkeypox. You do not have to be a gay or bisexual man to get it. And I think that we need to be very careful when we are very loose with our mouths as far as, oh, I can't get it. I can't get it because I'm not having sex with gay men, right? Um, I think we need to be careful um, with the message that we are telling people to when we say, don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. You have nothing to worry about. You should be concerned okay is the majority in that demographic yes however comma you can get this from skin to skin contact okay you can get this from touching somebody else from giving somebody a hug to kissing your family on the face mouth whatever okay you can get this now um uh, to say you can't get it, to not be worried, to act as if it's a fake, um, you know, it's the next fake thing. COVID wasn't fake, okay? Is there all types of conspiracies around the whole entire thing? Absolutely, but it's but it's real, okay? Regardless of how it got here, okay? And people did die. To say, oh, well, people aren't dying, it's no big deal. You should still be concerned, okay? I'm not saying to panic. I'm not saying to, to, to run in the streets and monkeypox, monkeypox, and the sky's falling. But I'm saying be smart. You have to be smarter than the average person and not play into it's no, it's somebody else's problem. It's something that I can't get. And, um, and then not be paying attention at all, 
okay? Um, again, I already feel this division happening, and I think that that is the true player. That is the true thing to not get caught up in is the division that these things cause and the way that we um, present them to society, okay? So what do you do? You don't panic. We're going to prepare. We're going to talk about things. You have H fever. You have Marburg popping up. Not crazy, okay? Just a case. Somebody died like a month and a half ago. Not the craziest thing to freak out about, right? We don't freak out just because we hear of a disease pop up. But what I find interesting is elites and things have been already for years um, telling us, hey, the next pandemic, the big things that are going to come are going to be smallpox. It's going to be um, Marburg. And so when I hear it, I it just piques my interest like, oh, that's interesting, right? And you just watch things, okay? Um, smallpox. I'm still a, full, a firm believer that that's coming one day. And so you should be doing everything that you can do and not get numb to the fact that all this stuff is happening. Um, and then you get numb to where you're not paying attention. You're complacent. You're like, oh, it's no big deal. I'm just going to deal with it when I deal with it. Right. And you can live that lifestyle. But I think that, um, you're doing a, um, you're not doing your family justice by putting on blinders and not paying attention to what's going on around you. So let's talk about what we can do. So these are just some ideas. These are just things that I'm doing for my family. Okay. These are the things that I think about when I say prepare and get ahead of stuff. Okay. So I got eight things for you. Number one thing I have is, and these are in no order is stack your over the counter cold meds, um, um, you know, your NyQuil's, your, your throat sprays, your all the over the counter stuff, your pain meds, um, those type of things, your cold medicines, whatever it is, special stuff. So like, for example, hubby, he has high blood pressure. There's specific like NyQuil type stuff. It's not called NyQuil, but there's specific stuff for that. There's specific stuff for cold medicine that he has to take. And so, um, getting all those things, get those things now when it's summer. Yes, it's, it's hot outside, right? Um, you know, nobody's thinking about winter time right now. Nobody's thinking about the cold and flu season. Nobody's really thinking about that right now. I will tell you though, if you go to the shelf right now, there's a good chance that it's not that stocked. Okay. Because you still have people that are battling COVID. You still, this whole time, the shelves have not been totally stocked when it comes to cold medicines. That stuff has been, you know, pretty evenly getting used up, getting bought up. Okay. And so you've got to get out of that stuff. The closer you get to winter where things are really going to pop off, typically with flus and things like that, and people getting sicker, the less you're going to be able to get that stuff. And so imagine if you're seeing holes in the shelves now, imagine the closer you get to winter time. Okay. I am doing this myself. I am about to go to the store later today and I'm going to top off on over the counter cold meds. Okay. So um, do yourself, um, you know, a, a, a good service, get into your preps, take an inventory of what you have and what do you still need. You know, if you're stockpiled on cold medicine and you have enough, then cool, baby, don't, don't do it. You don't, you're good in that area. Okay. And you can move on to one of these other things. Okay. Next thing I have is stack your vitamins, all the vitamins, baby, A, B, C, D, E, and, um, all the B's, uh, K, um, get your fatty fish oils, get your, um, is it ceridium, your curatin, your zinc, your, uh, you get all of the things. Okay. There's so many good vitamins. And if you take enough of the right ones, you, you really can boost your levels, um, of protection of catching something. Okay. Even catching a basic flu, catching stuff. Okay. It builds your immune system up. There's a ton of immune boosting type individual medicines where you just get, it's one one vitamin and it has a lot of those vitamins that I just mentioned that help with immune immune boosting okay um, start implementing that stuff now start boosting now so that you are and your body and your family's bodies are as strong as they can be to fight off stuff um, before it hits you guys okay and then when it hits you either it doesn't because you've you've boosted enough and you've done enough or it hits you guys but it's much um, lower levels okay 
Um, third thing on my list I have is health boosting cooking. Okay, so there's certain foods that I call like health boosting foods that I think that are important to cook and the as many of your meals as you can, right? Throughout your meal planning that are super important, that are natural, um, either antibiotics, health boosting, heart boosting, um, just great foods, okay? That's stuff like onions, garlic, turmeric, ginger, cayenne pepper, curry, things like that. Those every, I, so my family, right, we cook a lot. I cook a lot with curry. I cook a ton with garlic. All the things I just mentioned, I cook a ton of, not so much the cayenne pepper. Um, it was just an example, but all those other things I cook with all the time and, and almost, I'm not going to say every meal because obviously breakfast, I'm not putting some of that stuff in, but a lot okay i preserve those things a lot i have those things in all types of different um ways right preserved in different ways right um i think it's important because those are flavoring really important flavoring agents as well but they are so good for health purposes okay and so um just knowing that start researching that and then start preserving those items and make sure that you have those items in your preps okay because you know you can put those things make some teas with those things cook with those things and those are going to help aid any vitamins any over-the-counter any other holistic things that you are doing um that is going to help aid let's talk about um holistic um get your holistic project started at a minimum write out your recipes um figure out what you want to do and start moving forward with projects okay i listed a few okay make you some four thieves vinegar make you some garlic pickled um some garlic that's pickled in honey i make that all the time i love that i cook with it that's a very good way to pickle honey um and it takes away some of that 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 bitter, that strong garlic taste that a lot that turns a lot of people off. That's why a lot of people don't do garlic because they can't stand that really strong garlic taste. Well, if you pickle it in some honey, which is just putting the garlic in a jar. Um, I did a video a long time ago. If you do my name and then say pickled garlic or honey garlic, it will probably come up the video, you guys. Um, but it's basically a mason jar. You sh you you fill it full of your garlic. Um, you know your peeled right garlic have it down to clove size and fill the jar with honey with a good honey and then put a fermenting cap on it or put a regular cap and then just you're gonna have to burp it from time to time but amazing i use that all the time in cooking i absolutely love that you can put that in um in a tea right when somebody's not feeling good it's just amazing, okay? Um, and it's a, a very, very easy thing to do. Make you some fire cider, make you some elderberry syrup, various tinctures that you could be playing around with and making right now and starting to get um, done. I have about four or five that I have the herbs and stuff sitting in there just waiting for me to put them together. I have to get more vodka. Um, but, you know, you've got to move forward. Pick some holistic stuff and do it. Matter of fact, this book... Somebody put me on game in my um, in my membership. So my membership, um, my members, they um, when you become a member, you get to go to my Discord channel. You get an invite to my Discord channel. And one of my subscribers um, mentioned this book, right? So it's Rosemary Glad Stars is the author, and it's called Medicinal Herbs: A Beginner's Guide. And I guess she has other books. I'm gonna get them now. I'm in love. This this job this jumped to the top of my holistic. Um, medicinal books. I have several that I absolutely love, but this one, baby, so easy to understand. So many tinctures, so many extracts, so many recipes, um, tells you exactly what it's for, how to make it. It is an amazing, um, amazing, amazing. Basically, I want to call it, this is a medicinal uh, recipe book, right? It's full of recipes, right? And there's some small sections of how to do stuff, some basic you know, how the basics of making tinctures, the basics of doing um, different extracts and, and tonics and different things. But the majority of it, baby, is nothing but recipes. And you can look up stuff by the plant, uh, the ailment, whatever. Amazing. Uh, really, honestly, one of my favorites, okay? This is not linked in my Amazon um, pages, but today what I'll do is I will just make sure in the description box below, I'll put her the name and the author so that you can go there and see it and then just look it up. I got it on Amazon, you guys. 
just look it up and it will come back up okay um number five thing i have is get your med supplies medical supplies so things that aid in helping you get better so some different ideas picking you up an oximeter if you haven't gotten that that's a little thing that goes on your fingers that helps um test your oxygen levels right um that's super important when you're sick sick and testing that and if it gets to a certain level then you know you need to maybe go to a hospital um blood pressure cuff right even the kind that goes on your your wrist you can get the arm cuff um and the old-fashioned with a, the stethoscope you need to just basically have a way to do your basic blood pressure. Think about it. You go to the doctor, what's the first thing they do? That's one of the first things they do before they even see you about what is happening with you, okay? So having that in your preps. A nebulizer, different ways for breathing, okay, and breathing treatments. You've got to get this stuff in your preps if you don't have this stuff already so that um, when something happens, you have this stuff already to help aid you, okay? Let me know in the chat right now since this is live. Let me know right now um, other medical supplies that you guys think are super important for um uh, health wise when it comes to us fighting these viruses things that maybe you have used when you had covid or different things you have heard that that you've gotten that you've gotten to prepare as far as medical supplies let us know in the chat below okay that was number five number six i have is um get the things that just help aid in you feeling good right um stock up on your teas stock up on your honey stock up on your electrolytes your soups if you're not one for buying soups because of the um sodium content make some soups make you a bunch of soups in the crock pot and then freeze them right make these soups and then put them in the freezer you can go on pinterest and all these other social media places and find all types of posts like hey 40 soups for winter and make these different soups and put them in the freezers okay all types of moms all over the world got channels where they're talking about make these 10 soups now today and put them in the freezer um can them right make the soup and then pressure can them um whatever it is that you want to 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 do is your thing right as far as health right um get those things get the basics make sure you have lots of broth in your in your uh preps right um soups um, chicken noodle soup have the feel good stuff that helps and makes people feel good okay get that stuff number seven i have is stay clear people right stay away from the dirty people and um stay boosted get away from people um and stay clean so get all the cleaners stock up on your bleach stock up on your lysols your hand sanitizers your sanitation stuff for your home it's keeping your home clean staying up on laundry i know these things seem very very basic and it's like that's cleaning and whatever but really take a step further and whatever you're doing now just just think about germs more right if you do nothing else just be spraying down stuff doorknobs and stuff that everybody is touching you know um with with lysol right um be washing bedding on a normal basis right um you know monkey pox you can get that from clothing from bedding that type of thing right um stay up on that i'm not saying that you know you should be freaking out and i, I gotta do laundry every day i gotta wash the you know i'm i'm not saying that i'm just telling you to merely pay attention to your surroundings keep your area that you're responsible for your home your workspace your car whatever and keep it sanitized as as best you can right and stockpile those things so that when you need them more or you're not the one out on the street trying to get and find Lysol, okay? You've already got it. You don't have to be panicked, um, and you're good to go, all right? And the last thing I have is stacking your pandemic preps. Um, pandemic preps to me is more of the PPE supply type stuff, right? Um, that's your, your disposable robes. That's your goggles, that's gloves um that's masks n95 masks um that's regular um that's p100 masks that's the filters for the p100 masks um getting all that stuff right and having those different levels right this isn't about you know do masks help or not people okay doctors nurses every single day wear masks before this ever popped off right to just help as a basic quickie hey i'm talking to somebody that is sick okay and i'm just gonna have this extra barrier real quick of protection for you know spittle getting in my mouth okay 
Um, that's what I'm talking about, to have these different things that will aid you in caring for somebody that could be sick. This isn't just about now, you guys. Preparing is for the future. This is for the things we don't know, the things to come. Pandemics and viruses, they are going, I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. We are about to see a never ending supply, if you will, of viruses. That carpet has started to roll out and it's going to keep rolling out and different things are going to hit us at the same time. And we're going to have to learn how to get the things, boost our immune systems and fight these things holistically, naturally with over the counter help, however you need to do it. But you need to prepare now for the future. Okay. A lot of people get mixed up like, well, what do I do now? It's, it's, it's now. Yes, we're doing these things for now. But really, what you are doing is you are preparing for the future. Okay. Um, there's all types of things as far as medical preps and things that you can do to get ready for outbreaks, viruses, different things. There's a lot of little trees and branches that branch off into different areas that are affected when viruses and things happen, right? And so I think that it's just very important to once in a while, take a look at this stuff as we're reminded as things happen to take a look at your preps and figure out what you're going to do. If you are a seasoned prepper, you're somebody that's been doing this for a while, you homestead, you do, you know, you're doing the things, you know, find a new project, find another whole, find a new holistic, um, you know, option to make, find you a new tincture to add to your, to your collection, right? Um, um, maybe it's just, okay, I have enough stuff. Maybe it's just, okay, I'm going to concentrate. I'm going to pick five plants that I know are medicinal plants. And I'm going to make sure I get those five plants that I know I'm missing. I'm a seasoned pre prepper. I'm going to make sure I get these five medicinal plants planted in my, in my yard. You know, maybe it's something like that. Um, think, think it through for me still working on the medical room, right? Um, hubby is getting me these this big shelving unit that's going to go behind this big um i have like this big um built-in dresser and so he's going to get me some shelving so that i have some better areas for all my tincture bottles and stuff but um just just work on the things keep doing the things this could be just be working on the, the same things that you're doing all the time dehydrating your your herbs buying herbs on etsy um you know um you know canning soup pressure canning different stuff there's all types of recipes maybe it's hey find a new a brand new soup and make it make you a ground turkey no, not even ground turkey, real turkey meat um, that you cooked up, add some spinach, some broth, some carrots, maybe some potatoes, just make you some soups, man. Just make you a new soup, make it up and just can it, okay? <laughs> Just have fun with this, okay? Not everything has to be gloom and doom and like a virus and ah, outbreak. Um, it's just about being aware of what's going on and making sure that you guys are, are doing the things to get your family ready so that you're not panicked when things get really bad. You know, imagine when like death, when death happens. That's where people get real touchy and it gets very scary, right? But imagine if you're already prepared mentally, that goes into your health and the survive your survival, you know, rate of overall survival is your you having a healthy mind and knowing I'm ready, as ready as I can be to handle this and to fight this. Okay. And um if you have that, you're already ahead of the game in a lot of ways. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this chat. I've enjoyed chatting with you. I love these premieres. I love being able to chat with you while I'm babbling on the screen. Um, so thank you for spending a few of your uh, minutes with me today, listening to me. And I hope you guys are well, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.